Okay, so for those of you that don't have Photoshop or Paint, I'm actually going to teach you how to grid the uh, cross stitch charts um, pattern using a free alternative to Photoshop. It's called GIMP. Uh, it has both a Windows version and a Mac version, so it will help everybody. Um, if you just go to GIMP.org, in Google, you can get to their downloads page, and it's www.gimp.org forward slash downloads forward slash, and that will bring you to this. Um, to get to the Microsoft Windows, you just click the Microsoft Windows section, or if you have a Mac, click the OS X. Download it directly and install that. Once you've got it installed, we're actually going to shrink this and we are going to go into GIMP. This is what GIMP looks like. To start, we're going to click on File and we're going to Open. That Open is going to take me to my recently used. However, you can obviously use these things on the left to try and find your image that you need to do. This is my image, so I'm going to open that in here. Okay, once you've got it open in the actual GIMP editor, we need to resize this. Um, in order to resize it, I need to check my pattern, and I don't remember what it was. It's in the first page of your pattern, and it is right here, 195 by 341. Okay, I'm going to go back to GIMP. Click on image. Mm, where was it? Scale image is what we want to click on. Oh crap, I forgot what it was. One ninety five and three forty one. Make sure you click this section to undo. Well, shoot fire. Why are you not playing nice now? Hmm. Alright, sorry, my computer's acting kind of funny, so we are going to try this again. Alright, make sure you click this little button right here. It makes sure that these two numbers can be changed independently. Okay, that's broken. And it was one something, <laughs> I swear my memory sucks, 195 by 341. All right, 195, whoops, 5 by 341. We're going to leave everything else the same, and we're going to say scale. Now watch, it's not going to let me say scale. Or press enter if it won't let you press the scale button. All right, it has scaled my image down. Um, to zoom in, it's the plus button on your computer. Um, to zoom out is the minus button on your computer. All right, in this case, we are going to do the gridding using a shift feature. You press shift on your computer. That is going to force the lines to be straight. Okay, we're going to go over here to the pencil tool. We're going to pick pencil. And then I'm going to zoom in so that I can see 
10 by 10 in this ruler bar and that's so that I can get to each one of these individual little lines they are one pixel okay I shrink that and go back to my pattern and then I have to scroll down to my actual first page okay my first page has 80 stitches so I shrink that and go back to GIMP so I found the 80 mark which is right there and we line it up with it hold your shift button down every time you go straight and just scroll down the page Did you see how that did that? Press shift and it's going to go back to that line. Shift and you see a line and it should snap straight. You see how it goes off to the sides? You should be able to snap it straight. That one was not straight. And you may do better with short drags instead of long ones because it forces it into the straight position a little bit easier. Okay, I have now done the first page. Now we need to do the second one. So I need to shrink this and go back to my, my pattern. My second one is 157. Okay, I'm going to go back up to the top, which I'm at, and I'm going to go over to 157. That's five, that's six, and that's seven. Okay. When you find your seven, well, five, six, seven, all right. You're going to want to press the button. Whoops, it tried to get me a guide. Don't want that. Actually, you know what? We will put a guide on 157 and see if that helps us. And to get that guide, all I did was go over to the ruler, and while I'm on the ruler, I pulled left. Okay, we need to pick the move tool. Oh, I think it's going to let... Nope, it's not going to let me change it. Are you seriously? Continue to push that shift tool if you want this to go down and connect to that.
Okay, I want you to note that mine is crossing over the 157, and that's because I've made the lines on this a size 3. You can change those actual numbers, and it will change the width of your line. Sorry, that was a warning on my machine. Okay, that menu that keeps popping up is because I keep accidentally pressing the right side of my trackpad. Um, just ignore it and you'll be fine. No. Whoops. Control Z will back you out and undo something if you do something wrong, which is exactly what I just did there. All right. I now have my pages done. Um, at least, sorry, my columns done. I now need to know where my pages end. So I go back to my pattern. And my first row ends at 98. All right, remember, it's your plus button to zoom in. All right, year 98, we can pull down a guide to tell us year 98 and that's where I want to go. Okay, and then just do shift. Shift and drag all the way across. Okay, I got that one. I'm back to my pattern and I go to the next row and it ends at 193. So I go back to GIMP. I'll bring down another. I undid that because I actually wanted to zoom in and I didn't zoom in like a dork. Okay, now I can go back to my all right, and remember press shift and drag, shift and drag. All right, now we're gonna scroll on down and back over to the side and we gotta figure out what the last row is. Next row ends at 288. Go back to GIMP. And I'm going to bring down another guide at the 288 mark. Click, shift, and pull. Then hold down that shift key and pull.
and there you have it. Um, let's see if I can hide. Yep, um, I can click this show guides and those go away. And then you just say file, save as. Click that in order to find out an extension type. Pretty sure just about any program will actually read this GMB XCF file. Or let's see if we can file export as and see what we're given. Okay, you're going to want to pick export as and then you're given an actual um, JPEG option in the file types. And then you just name your file and say export. Or enter. Export doesn't always play nice. It may very well be my computer too. But there you go. We now have, if I go to my files, which are here, hmm. Where did it put it? Because I wasn't paying attention. Make it a point to pay attention to where you put it. <laughs> when you save it, we'll go back in and I can <laughs> redo it. So file, export as, where was it dumping it? In my downloads folder. If you need to change all of this, change it here. All right. Downloads folder. And... There it is, my gridded picture.